Let's begin this story post TI3. After Team Alliance has defeated Na'Vi at the Grand Finals of the International 2013. So what happens afterwards? Wait, wait, what happened to the pro rat gaming team with Admiral Bulldog's Nature's Prophet with Loda Carry Alchemist and S4 the Captain? His crazy puck plays. What happened to that team, that legendary squad? The same squad would head into the International 2014, only to come up short. They weren't able to defend it successfully. In fact, Team Alliance and Navi would perish away. Alliance would place 11 to 12 at TI4. Now what would happen henceforward? Now that's the real story. After TI4 and their shortcomings, EGM was spotted playing with other teams. He would play for a team commonly known as Team Tinker. And then a couple of weeks later, the most devastating thing for Team Alliance would occur. Their captain, their beloved Swedish pride, their humble jar of honey, yes, S4, would be revealed that he was starting to play with Team Secret. Yes, he was beginning to play with Puppy. Former enemies were now teaming up. Think about it. Team Navi and his captain was Puppy, and now Alliance's captain S4, who defeated Team Navi at TI3, we're now teaming up. The reason why Crystal's Dota is hyping up this moment, this decision by S4, because look at this clip. A lot of people were saying it's very unfair. I was very angry watching the game. It's not really so much against Navi as against the rules. We came into a player lounge and I saw Lola screaming. That from the game. That was the biggest joke I've ever seen. The biggest there's these rules about bug abuse, but what is bug abuse and what is not. I'm, I'm still a bit salty about it, I think. Like, how can you win? How can you even be allowed to win that way? Tom Fu had that game. Is that balance? You hook a guy with eggs? Here we basically see that Loda truly hates Team Navi, especially what they did by abusing the Fountain Code glitch and winning a tournament matchup. So Alliance and Team Navi were pure enemies. They really hated one another. However, despite that anger, this rage, S4 teams up with Puppy. So it is a big deal. It's a shock to the Dota scene. It's like Kevin Durant joining Golden State Warriors after he was destroyed by them. It's like going to team up with your enemies. Kind of weird, right? Anyways, we'll go back to the video. What about like puppies? You don't hate puppies. I hate dogs. Why? I have to walk out of them. So on September 3rd of 2014, the team officially announced the departure of Gustav S4 and EGM. These players would be replaced by a Danish player named Misery, aka Flipson, and an ex-Han pro, just like PPD, named Chessie. What would happen to Alliance henceforward? They found some success with the roster, placing third at the WCA 2014. However, another devastating thing would happen to this team. Chessie, who they just recruited that year, suffered an injury on his back and this prevented him from playing complete. Then, this eventually became a domino effect. The team started to slowly break apart. It's just like another person's teeth as it ages. It slowly decays away. This was a period of time where Team Alliance felt constant instability. Nothing was stable. Then, another heartbreaking news would take effect for Team Alliance. Admiral Bulldog would take a break from competitive play. It ended up being me and Bulldog uh, just taking a break uh, from the team. Now, do you guys have a rough timeline on how Chessie's doing? And I, I actually haven't heard so much. Uh, okay. the, we haven't actually talked so much about it ever since yeah. uh, we, 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 we took that break. Um, and, and obviously, I'm, I'm still just a stand-in. I'm a contract or anything, so... And Misery was seen as a stand-in for Team Secret. So Misery was just dropping Alliance as well. The team used a number of stand-ins at the end of 2014, including Han One, Mad, aka Sebastian Debs, and Ape Mother. However, on May 2nd, 2015, with the TI5 European qualifiers coming around, Loda announced Alliance's final roster. Loda was back with PyCat, Admiral Bulldog, Mad, and Ake. This was Alliance's last chance for a redemption, for a comeback run. Perhaps Loda and the old boys from TI3 had something left 
in their tank. But folks, this story doesn't go like that. Unfortunately, the unsuccessful attempt at the open qualifiers of TI5, Team Alliance crumbled. They fall short. This was their last hurrah. In fact, after that, Team Alliance is just not the same anymore. Everyone else goes separate ways. Alliance was eliminated from the TI5 European qualifiers, becoming the first TI winner to not attend a subsequent international. Now, this is the downfall and this is the sad part of Alliance. See, we never had such a devastating loss to a TI winner before. It's coming from the sky and then shooting straight down to the pits of hell. This is what happened to Alliance. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Alliance fell so quickly, it's just like a fireworks. If a fireworks that lasts for 10 seconds and it's so bright, so lit, so beautiful, and then when it comes down, it's complete darkness. This is what happened to Alliance. If you guys are wondering what's happening to Admiral Bulldog, what's happening to Lodor S4, just subscribe to this channel and I'll keep you updated. I'm gonna tell more stories as the days progress. Until next time, this is Crystal's Dota out.